Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a furnace statue. By the way, my furnace statue is not 100% identical to the furnace item that I have in front of me. I've changed it ever so slightly to make it look, in my opinion, a little bit better. If you try and copy the furnace 100% block for block, then it ends up looking, shall we say, in my opinion, a little bit terrible. So I've altered it just slightly. If you're okay with that, then this tutorial is for you. And by the way, before we get things started, if you have any more item requests, feel free to check out the card system and the link below in the description for my item tutorial playlist. I have plenty in there. But now that all of that formal stuff's out of the way, if you want to make the furnace, here's what you're going to need. You will need some black wool, some dark grey wool, light grey, white, red, orange and finally grab yourself some yellow wool and once you have each one of those materials right there and once you've figured out where you want to make it I'll be making it right here you're going to want to kick off your furnace with a row of 16 black wool coming directly up from the floor so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and once you have your row of 16, you then want to take this top block, this 16th block, and go right of it by 15. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then connect this 15th block to the ground to form a nice big archway shape like this. Once you've formed this shape, we're now going to fill the face of this shape in. So, starting from the bottom left-hand side of the shape that you've just made, going right of this black block right here, we're just going to do several sequence of blocks, and we're just going to fill this up from the bottom going all the way up to the top. So, for the first row going right of this black wall, do one light grey, one black wall, one red, one orange, one red, one orange, one yellow, one red, one orange, one yellow, one orange, one red, one black, one light grey. That's row number one. Row number two. Do one light grey, one black, one orange, three yellow, two orange, two yellow, two orange, one black, one light grey. For the next row, do one light grey, one black, one red, three orange, one red, one yellow, one orange, three red, one black, one light grey. For the next row, do two light grey, one black, two red, one orange, one red, one orange, three red, one black, two light grey. For the next row, do three light grey, two black, four red, two black, three light grey. For the next row, do one dark grey, four light grey, four black, Four light grey, one dark grey. For the next row, place a single dark grey on the ends of your row, and then just throw white everywhere else in between. For the next row, do the same thing, except place black on the ends of the row, and then place dark grey everywhere else in between. For the next row, do an entire row of light grey wool. For the next two rows, do two light grey, one dark grey, eight black wool, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one dark grey, two light grey, and like I said, that's for two rows, so once you've got that first one taken care of, do the exact same thing just above it. For the next row, do two light grey, two dark grey, six black wool, one, two, three, four, five, six, Two dark grey, two light grey. For the next row, do three light grey, eight dark grey, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then 3 light grey. And for the final two rows of the front of your furnace, just do two solid rows of light grey wool. So you just want to do one and two. And luckily for us, the rain has came. I'm really glad that it's decided to show up. It was getting a little hot, to be honest with you, working on the furnace. Oh... It's not an easy job. Let me tell you what, I'm going to get rid of the rain. This is exactly what you want to have for the front of your furnace. And once the rain's gone, we can continue on to the rest of it. We can do all of the other faces. So back in just one moment. All right, so I took care of that problem. Once you've completely finished the front of your furnace, once you've reached this point right here, you now want to come all the way around to the back of where your furnace is going to be. Take out your black wool and you want to take each one of the four corners of your furnace and you want to extend each one of the corners of the furnace back towards where the back of the furnace is going to be each by 15. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And finally, one last corner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And once you've extended each one of those corners back by 15, connect each one of the 15th blocks together. Best way to do that is just in a nice square shape like this. Just do a nice little clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation and connect everything together to give you a nice empty cubish looking shape like this. Once you've reached this point right here, it's now time to fill all of these in. So, good news. Each one of the side faces, left, right, and back, are the exact same. They are identical. So, this is going to be easy. And the top's easy as well, by the way. So, the way that we're going to do this, can you guys see on the front of the furnace where we have this row that kind of divides, like, the top and the bottom? Well, this row right here wants to be applied onto each one of these other faces. So... All we want to do is one black wool and dark grey everywhere in between that black wool. So a black wool on the end of each row like this and then dark grey wool everywhere else in between. So you just want to make that row that we have on the front of the furnace follow all the way around it like this. So you just want to have that exact same row that we have on the front go all the way around left, right and back. Once you've done that, we can now start working on the individual sides. So come all the way over to the left-hand side first of all. This is one that I'll be doing first. Not that it matters as they all look the same, but this is a side that I like to do first. Once you're here, you first of all want to take out your dark grey wool and do dark grey wool all the way around the inside of this face of the furnace. So you just want to, in a large square shape, just do a large square of dark grey wool just going all the way around like this so i'm just doing exactly that dark gray wool all the way around once you've done that you now want to take out your white wool and do a row of white wool underneath that middle row of dark gray wool that we have that kind of like bisects the furnace all you then want to do is fill the rest of the face in with light grey wool, and it's as easy as that. So, we're just going to do this to each one of the sides, except the top. The top, we're just going to fill in with light grey, if you want to know beforehand. That's all we'll have to do. So, I'm just going to do that right now for myself. I'm just going to completely fill in this side of the furnace with light grey, and then we will do the final two sides, which will be done in the exact same way. So... This, once I've done this last row, this is what you want to have for each one of those three sides of the furnace. It's as easy as that. Nice and simple. Once you've done it on one, does that look like a really weird whale face or am I crazy? Probably crazy. Once you've done that to one face, go ahead and move all the way over to the back or the other side or wherever and do the exact same thing two times over. So we're on the back here. First of all, we're doing the dark gray square that goes all the way around the inside. Then we'll add in the strip of white then light grey wool everywhere else. So that's the dark grey added. Let's add in the strip of white and then we can just add in the light grey which is nice and easy. So we've done the two little bits of detail which are really easy to do and now we're just filling it up with light grey wool. Doesn't get much simpler than this so I'm just adding all of this in. 
and this will be the back taken care of once I've finished this and then we can move on to the final side so just filling in the top half now and it won't leave us much to do once this is taken care of so that is the back as you guys can see identical to the side that we've just done now we're moving over onto the third and final side and we're doing the exact same thing over here i'll knock out that dark gray block that i've accidentally placed a little later on i'll have to i'll have to visit there in just a moment anyway to place that white wall so very sloppily placing blocks today but hey doesn't matter knock that out let's place the white wall and then we can place the light gray wall everywhere else so We've just got the two halves to do, then we can move up to the top and then we'll be done. It will be as easy as that, so just doing that now. That's one half done. Moved on to the second half. And then we're going to go straight to the top, since you guys have seen what this should look like a few times already. It's nice and easy, so we've just got one final row to do on this side, then we can move all the way up to the top. So, now moving up to the top, now that all of those three sides are done, and like I said, to fill in the top, just use light grey wool. Just completely fill in the top of this thing with light grey wool. So, this will take us a little while just because it's kind of big. What is it, 16 by 16? So what do we have a 15? No, I suppose it's a 14 by 14 area to fill in. So it'll take us a little while, but hey, you know, it's nice and easy at least. At least we don't have to add any detail to it. And once we have filled in the top of our furnace, that will be all that we have to do. So we're just casually filling the top of this thing in. We're well over halfway now. I don't know how many rows we have to have how we have to do. I'd guess three, including this one. So let's see if I'm right. One. Yeah, there we go. This will be two. And then this will be three. So just for the top, just to show you guys, you just want to completely fill the top of this thing in with light gray wool. And that will be that. So let's take a look now, shall we? Let's, let's start from a nice diagonal view like this. And then we can compare it to the item itself so this is what your furnace should look like once it's been 100 percent fully completed this is it really not too much to it to be honest with you guys this is this is a simplified version of the furnace but i really do think that it does look ever so slightly better just ever so slightly better than if i would have tried to have added in all of the detail the detail kind of ruins it i'm gonna be honest or at least it does for me if you guys like this then you're just like me you like this but you might want to have something that maybe is a little closer to the item itself oh the fire's been extinguished i i think all of my pork chops have cooked oh wonderful i know what i'm gonna, I'm gonna have for tea now so let me let me get some more stuff out what do we need let's have some more raw pork chops i love those and we'll have some I've just threw away the stupid raw pork chops. Hang on, let, let's get the UI back on so we can actually see this thing. So we'll get the cooked ones away and we'll grab ourselves some raw ones. There and there, there we go. So it's now on fire again. Since it does change the bottom of the furnace quite dramatically uh, when it's actually a light, it lights the whole thing up. So to have them side by side, there we go. As you can see, I changed the fire ever so slightly in the bottom and then all i've really done is i've changed the top a little bit as well and then everything else kind of remains the same and it's a very similar story with all of the other sides like the bottom of the furnace is pretty much identical to what we have like on the actual item itself uh, the only difference is in the top part where it's kind of more bricky and i'm like i've said many times already guys you try to add that in and I just I don't think it looks right it looks really weird I don't like how it looks so this is a simplified version like it or not thanks for watching guys hopefully you managed to make this no problem and I will see you in the next video